Hi guys, Life Fitness RD here. I was just meal prepping or going to begin prepping for my meal prep. And I'm going to be doing a video for that. But I thought, why don't I just make a Trader Joe's haul since I just went to Trader Joe's and it's been a while and I got a couple things that I'm excited to share. So let's do that. I'm going to be sharing a couple things that I got from Trader Joe's. So stay tuned. And one of the things I'm excited to try is this artichoke. Well, I've only had artichoke in dips, like spinach artichoke dip. And yeah, I like canned artichoke. I remember I made a spaghetti squash spinach dipish meal ones, uh, but they were canned. But this is a full time. The first time I'm having a full artichoke. Is it a heart? I don't know, but a full artichoke. I hope I like it. I don't know. I'm excited. It looks different. I never had it. So we're trying new things. And I love radishes. Honestly, I feel like radishes elevate a dish by so much. Like you can have just like a regular toast, add some sliced radishes, and boom, it elevates it. Same thing with microgreens are another way to just add to your sandwiches, toast, whatever dish it is that may be basic, and then it elevates it. Like add this, and then now you can charge $14 for that toast with some sliced radishes. I got English pepinos because they did not have Mexican pepinos and they come plastic wrapped so mm, not very eco-friendly but whatever I think all English cucumbers come like this <laughs> but yeah I got these two for my farro salad because what is a salad without cucumber and it's about to be summer isn't it crazy it's about to be summer already it's <sighs> we're in the last few days of June damn right it's coming up edamame so i love edamame and okay so there are food deserts okay if you don't know what a food desert is it's basically places cities communities that don't have grocery stores like near them so i'm like in a mild food desert there are grocery stores but it's like at the stater brothers which one is expensive and two the things they carry are questionable like for example, salmon, like in the fish department. I try not to eat fish already because we pollute our waters. Look at all the plastic we use. But our waters are polluted and because our fish live in the water and they end up eating those microplastics, um, cause disruption with our endocrine system, with our hormones and stuff. So for that reason, I try not to eat fish too much. I'm thinking about the food system. I only eat wild salmon. And then Stater Brothers that they have here, the only salmon that they have is Farm Fresh, which <gasps> disgusting, you will never catch me eating that. But yeah, they don't have like certain things and edamame, for example, is one of those things that you can go to Trader Joe's and you can find this and then just by having edamame as one of your dishes, it's a plant-based protein and you get so much fiber and there's so much benefits, but you don't find them in a lot of stores. So I made sure to grab them when I went to Trader Joe's. If you haven't had edamame, tried them, and edamame is the soybean, so this is where like tofu, tempeh, seitan, all that comes from. I've been very into sugar snap peas lately. I don't know, they're just crunchy, they're good, and I'm eating earth, so it makes me feel good and happy. Sugar Joe's has this three layer hummus, and it's basically layered with the traditional cilantro jalapeno and the spicy hummus. So this is what got me into hummus and then i started digging into the sabras but still nothing meets the standard of this bye so i like this hummus and then dipping it with my snap peas and again you're eating more veggies a good way to add more fiber into your diet uh, well, as well as micronutrients so different vitamins minerals so girl you good go get that help for my salad i already have spinach at home so I don't want to buy more spinach or like lettuce. I don't really buy lettuce unless I'm using it for like boats. Like if I'm trying to do like a low carb meal, which I don't really do. Or if I'm trying to use it as like a layer for like cheeseburgers, not hot dogs. Como se llaman hamburguesas? Ha uh, hamburgers. <laughs> so I got this kale to add to my farro salad because I'm using the farro obviously as my grain. All of your salads should have grain and make sure those grains are whole grains, okay? So yeah, so I'm having my spinach, my kale, and then, yeah, like my farro and all my other veggies. 
but yeah so that is for that and you know what now that i'm thinking about it because i am shopping for one so this is again where you personalize your meal plan based on your needs so if you are like in one person household or if you just buy food for yourself or just cook for yourself or if it's like two people basically what i'm trying to get at is if you have leftovers don't go shopping use your leftovers guys this your kitchen is your inventory so just like at work you wouldn't just buy stuff or order stuff when there's no need at home you shouldn't either like one it just creates clutter which i don't know about you but once i have clutter in the kitchen like i do not want to be in the kitchen so try to create keep your kitchen as a safe space to and make it welcoming for you to try to go in there and cook yourself something which it isn't hard i promise you guys less than 15 minutes you can whip up a balanced meal and it can be budget friendly but one you're gonna have to eat earth okay that's how you're gonna get your meals cheap and that's how you should be eating okay so if you don't want to be eating this like it's okay it's okay go eat your fast food whatever your heart desires okay but then don't be complaining about how eating healthy is hard because it isn't okay you're hard you're being hard-headed and that's that on that i got baby carrots so i can snack along with the snap peas and the hummus i didn't specify on my grocery list and i just put carrots and at that moment i remembered that i was thinking about trying spiralized carrots uh, with the spaghetti squash just to add more like noodle veggie noodles and that's where mine was going but i forgot i wasn't gonna make that for my meal prep <laughs> and i was supposed to get whole carrots so and like slice them up with my lentils but now i'm gonna have to use this which it's okay you just gotta work with what you got okay stop me ah, my life is over and then oh my god now that i'm thinking about it i think i'm trying a lot of new veggies or yeah and let me think i don't think i've had have i had butternut squash i feel like i've had butternut squash but i cannot recollect the moment where i have had butternut squash so i'm just gonna say that i have not had butternut squash since i cannot confirm with my archives so i'm trying butternut squash also and this i'm roasting and i don't know if i'm gonna add it to my salad or my lentils um either or i also got sweet potatoes so i'm gonna add Sweet potatoes to one, butternut squash to the other, since they're both starchy. Pero, pero yeah, I don't know. See, that's why I don't do meal plans. That's why I just figure it out as I go and I do what my heart desires. You guys forget, when you cook, you cook with your heart. That is the whole meaning. The kitchen is the heart of your house, of your apartment, of your household, whatever it is. And it's the way to our hearts also. So... I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> you guys, I swear, I need to like do brain games or something because this goldfish memory is so bad. I, I cannot lose my train of thoughts like that. Like I have an issue one because my train of thought always leaves and I'm like, ¿Qué estaba diciendo? Ya se me olvidó. Okay, whatever. Next point. And then later on, I'm like, oh, I never finished my point. <laughs> so it's bad but also because I'm bilingual. And so with that, sometimes I like don't know what to say or like I buffer, I'm like, va a salir en inglés, va a salir en español, no sé. So I'm already, I'm already suffering from a couple of disabilities, but it's okay. So we got this, that, and then that's, I showed you guys a lot of veggies that I had, which think about it, I got a lot. So let's give a round of applause okay and for my fruits i got okay if you know me it's like no question that i'm gonna get berries okay my staple meals which is like yogurt oatmeal chia pudding i haven't done chia pudding but i'm gonna do it this time all those i basically topped them the same which is berries so i like having my variety of berries so i got blackberries and a big pack this time right now I'm really into raspberries. I used to like love blackberries, but I feel like the blackberries that I've had recently haven't had much flavor, and that could be because of our food. Let's not get into that. But yeah, I feel like they haven't had much flavor, and the raspberries, they just be smacking. They taste like candy. So I love raspberries, but they had this one, so I got this one. And being summertime, 
it's time to be popping cherries. So I got some sweet red cherries, which you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and treat myself right now because I'm working hard. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. out. did I get something else? Um, that is all the exciting things I got from Trader Joe's and I wanted to share with you guys. I will be posting on my TikTok. Um, my meal preps that I make with these meals. So make sure you go over to my TikTok page, follow me. If you like this video, go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe to stay tuned to my next videos on my channel. Hope you guys have a great Memorial Day weekend. Goodbye.